Hello everybody. Uh, I get a lot of questions about how do I brainstorm great keywords. Uh, there's a lot of keyword theory. I really believe in knowing your keywords. Uh, in my humble experience here, a lot of people really don't do this. They don't know their keywords and they don't even start at the beginning by brainstorming. So I thought I'd share a couple tricks about how to brainstorm keywords so you don't miss anything. Uh, especially what I call your tomato tomatoes. So lawyer, attorney, this type of thing, C class, course. You want to make sure you get your synonyms and you want to look for your helper words. Is it probate attorney? Is it divorce attorney? Is it um, estate attorney? Is it Dallas? Is it Plano? Is it Texas? This type of thing. You want to brainstorm those keywords and you want to use Google to do that. Google, of course, has over 65% market share, probably actually quite a bit higher. So they have the data. You've got to learn how to use their tools. I'm going to go through two tools, the Keywords Planner, which I have a video on, of course, but this one, I'm just going to drill into how to brainstorm, just get the ideas out there. I'm not going to talk about volume and value and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you a neat little trick with the display network where you can use it also to get your uh, keyword ideas. Okay, so let's get started. First, of course, you've got to have an AdWords account. To set up an AdWords account, you've got to have a credit card. So go get yourself a credit card, sign it for an account. Okay, let's look at the Keyword Planner first, and let's understand how we get started brainstorming keywords. All right, so I'm going to go over here to my AdWords account. So I'm assuming that you've got it. So you can ignore, if you're, if you're not running any money, like this account we don't run money through, you'll see this obnoxious red line that they don't let you get rid of. Just ignore that. That's just saying, blah, please give us money. Go to Tools. Keyword Planner. Okay, that's going to load your Keyword Planner tool, or at least the first step here. So let's let that load. Go Google, go Google, you can do it. Okay, over here. Now, let's take our example. Let's take Probate Lawyer. So let's put in Probate Lawyer and just click past this screen. They put this screen in the way. So just click past the screen to get into the tool. Now, where we are in our keyword discovery, we're brainstorming. We're getting our tomatoes, tomatoes. And everybody knows, right? Lawyer, attorney, right? You don't want to miss that one. You want to use the tool to get those ideas out on paper. So I'm just going to open up a little notepad and just use some keyword examples. So I'm going to say probate lawyer. Okay, now I'm going to put that over here for a second. I'll drag it back and forth a couple times. So I'm sitting there with my team. We're brainstorming. So we're going to log into the keyword tool. Okay, over here on the left, all locations. You can change that to United States. You need a big country. Like, don't put in, you know, I don't know, Vatican City. Don't put in some tiny, teeny country. United States, Great Britain, Canada, something like that. But generally, all locations is the best. Just that's the one thing that's often defaulting correctly. Now, you have put in your keyword here. Now, here's the trick. Hold your cursor here, and it's going to give you ideas. Now, start to pay attention to what you see. Probate lawyer probate lawyers, probate estate, probate real estate, estate probate. Look for keyword ideas. Probate a will. Oh yeah, real estate attorney. Now here, you've got to pay attention. Lawyer, attorney. So just, you're going to write out your brainstorm. So put over here, oh yeah, estate, trust, right? You could see that coming through. Lawyer, attorney. You can see that going through there. So start to brainstorm those keywords. Don't miss any. Wills and trust, executor, Lawyer will, wills and probate lawyer. So will lawyer, probate lawyer, right? The average person does not um, really think very much anymore, let's be honest. So they just type into Google, hey, I need to write a will. I'm going to put in will lawyer as opposed to the legal word, which would be probate lawyer. All right, let's try it with a different keyword. Let's say we're working on a nutrition project. Let's put in calcium and we're working on a nutrition project. Get ideas. Just let that search and again go down in here and you say, oh, calcium, vitamin D. That's close to what? A tomato, tomato. Very closely related keywords. Calcium supplements, calcium rich foods. Those are your helpers. Best calcium su supplements, right? Nobody searches for worst calcium supplement, right? Best calcium supplement. So this is a great tool for getting those ideas, getting those tomato, tomatoes. Now click over to keyword ideas tab. This is really the same idea. I'm not going to talk about volume and value. I'm just talking about getting the ideas on paper. So calcium supplements, calcium rich foods, etc. This is a great brainstorming tool. Put your keywords in here. Brainstorm with this tab. On this tab, it's a little funky, a little bit difficult user interface. Hold your cursor there to see those ideas. Write down those ideas on a piece of scratch paper, on a notepad, whatever. So you'd have oh, calcium. You'd realize vitamin D is quite related to that word. 
calcium supplement, etc. So you're going to get those keywords out on paper. This is what I teach in my class. You've got to get the keywords out there first. Most people don't have a good idea of what their keywords are. Now let me show you another really cool trick that very few people know how to use. Very few people know how to do this. All right, so let's go over to our campaigns tab, and this is just a, a, a an account we don't really use. So let that load campaigns up. Come on, go Google. You can do it. It's Sunday morning. Google must be at church right now. It's very slow. Campaigns tab. Now, what you need to do is set up a campaign, and in that campaign, you want that campaign to be uh, display network only. So see how that says display network only, right? Display network only. You want that to be display network only. Let me get my, my little presentation assistant to cooperate here. So you want this guy here set to the display network. Okay, so when you set up a campaign, make sure you make it display network. Then you need to create a group and just call your group like display network ideas. This is just a fake campaign. We're not really using it. Okay, so you've got a campaign called display network set to the type display network and you've got a group called display network. Now when you make a new campaign, right, just to do a new campaign, you're going to go new campaign display network and then you're going to create a group in it because you have to have a group to make this work. Okay, so now we have the group. Now once you've got the group, click over here to the display network tab. Let that load. Okay, now go over to targeting and you're going to need to select that group that you just had. Sometimes if it's only one group it'll automatically do it. Sometimes it'll say you must select a group. Then you're going to click on this little pencil here. So display network to targeting to this little pencil. They don't make it easy. Click on the little pencil. Now here's where it gets really cool. Put in probate attorney and click find related keywords. At this point, we're not actually going to do any advertising. We're just using this to brainstorm our keywords. You can use it for AdWords. You can use it for SEO. Probate attorney. Okay, probation lawyer attorney. Right there, it tells you your tomato tomato. DUI lawyer, bankruptcy lawyer. You get. You can see all the lawyers that are out there. Probate law, probate law firms, right? Will probate law. You can see all these different places where you're getting your idea. So probate lawyer. Now, let's do that with calcium. Type in calcium hit find related keywords and then down here you can see look at that calcium bone health calcium osteoporosis best calcium absorption calcium vitamins so you can see this is another great way now you can technically add them into your plan if you want it's really nice because you can just copy them over here but you can't really pull them out very easily but the idea here is you can put in whatever you're interested in you know put in you know organic baby food hit find related keywords it's another way to get those brainstorm ideas out there. And you can see baby food, baby food recipes, baby food nutrition. It's really good for broadening your horizon. So to wrap this guy up, you're going to create a campaign. In the campaign, you're going to create a group. You're going to drill into that group. Click on display network. Click on targeting. Click on the pencil. Type your keyword in over here, so your keyword can be anything. It can be cattle breeding. It can be whatever you're doing your project on. Find related keywords. And then you can go and you can see all of these down here. And you can see, oh, dairy cattle, Angus cattle, etc. Tomato, tomatoes, dairy cattle. Do we breed dairy cattle? Do we breed Angus cattle? Do we sell cattle feed, cattle herd, cattle horses, really? you can get great ideas. So those are really good. Okay, so I've got all the materials for you. I've got the little kind of video transcript. I'll put the link in the video description. And of course, um, always, always, always sign in, log up, uh, sign up for our newsletter alerts, and you'll have a copy of our free SEO toolbook and other goodies as we release them. So that, my friends, is a quick little video, how to brainstorm keywords two basic ways. Use the keyword planner in Google AdWords, and secondly, a little bit of a twist, set up a display network, kind of fake campaign, and then use that to pull out um, ideas. Great, great, great ways to build your keyword list. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and all that fun stuff.